Hello my friends, today we are back in Luminar Neo and I am going to show you how to add a spotlight behind your subject. So we will work with this image and we will go from this to this and then also we will work on this image and this is the, I have to go to edit, I'm sorry, this is the before and after. So let's start with the first example. I am going to go to edits and then just go to action and revert to original. This is a really, really simple technique. So it only takes a few steps. I will show you exactly how to do it. Sometimes you need to put a spotlight behind your subject because you want to separate your subject from the background. And this is a studio shot, but it doesn't have to be a studio shot. You can do this with uh, portraits that are taken outdoors as well. So the way we will edit this, we will go to develop and then to create a spotlight, we want to increase the exposure. So I will increase the exposure. Let's say the spotlight, we want it to be that bright. Now what we need to do is go into masking and mask it with a radial gradient because our spotlight, it's usually a circle. So something like that. If you wanted to change the shape and not be perfectly circle, you can just make it oval or whatever size and shape you would like. I am going to go with this one for now. Now you see the effect is being applied outside of my circle where is red. That's what the effect is happening. So I need to invert this. And for that, I have this handy button over here that says invert. And if I go to adjustments, now you can see we have a spotlight, but the problem is our subject, it's also brightened up. So we need to take the subject outside out of this masking. To do so, back into the masking, I will go into the mask AI. And first, let me just go to mask action and say show so you can see what's happening. So I'm going to go right now. We have the spotlight just like we saw before. It's just this radial gradient. But if I go to mask AI, where we do have subject selection and click on human. And what happened now, you see, we added the human. So you see the bottom part got added as well because we are had, uh, adding the human selection to the radial gradient. But the one really good trick in Luminar Neo masking is if you click again on human, it will subtract, it will take away the whole human from our selection. So watch this as I click on human. Now the human, it's removed from our selection. So if we go to the adjustments now, let me just go to mask and hide the overlay because it gets in the way of our seeing the effect. So now I can increase the brightness, the exposure and create a brighter spotlight. Or, you know, if I want to change the color, I can go to temperature and I can change the color of my spotlight. I can make it blue. I can also go into my masking and go to mask action and copy my mask and then get out of the develop, go into the color, go into masking, mask action, and you can paste your mask. So now we can work with color with the same mask and just affect our spotlight. So now in the color adjustments, we can change the hue if we want or the blue or we can just go to hue shift and pretty much change it into any color we want. And whatever adjustments you might want to do, you can do with the spotlight. And that's how you would add this spotlight. I'm going to move into the next example, just so we do this again, just in case you missed some steps. And I first thing I want to do is revert this to the original. And let's see this image. It's a little overexposed. So the first thing I want to do is just take the exposure down a little bit. There you go. I will get out of develop, go back into develop. And this time let's go again to the exposure and increase it. And then with the masking, we want to go to radial gradient and create our spotlight, something like that. Remember, we have to invert it because right now just outside of this is being affected. So invert it, go back to the adjustments. Now we can see everything is brightened, but also our subject. And then go back into masking and go into mask AI. And 
and to the mask AI once Luminar Neo finds the human, click on human, the whole human is going to be added to our selection and then click again and the human will be subtracted, take it away from our adjustment. So now if we go back to adjustments, the human stayed the same exposure we had before, but now we have this spotlight behind that we can make as bright or as dark as we want. We can work with the temperature and shift the hue. We can change the tint. We can do whatever we want with this. And it's just a fun way to separate the subject from the background. For those of you guys that are new to this channel, I do have a Luminar Neo uh, playlist. I think it has about 100 tutorials right now, going through all the tools and many tips and tricks on how to edit the Neo. And please go uh, and check that playlist. And that's it pretty much for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.